I am so out of practice filming that I have been trying to film this intro for like 10 minutes now. Um, so we're just gonna get into it and this time I'm going to be going uh, ladies first. So if y'all remember, this is my like OT12 binder, kind of. <laughs> it's like the other eight members that I don't fully collect. I just have a couple of photo cards for it and era. So yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm not doing great here, but two of the cards that I have are for the C version, which I had zero for <laughs> before. So very exciting. This is Heejin. Oh, I don't have to take out a filler. That's great. <laughs> I might hear though. Yeah, I do. So the other one that I have is Chetty. And was this also from me in this? I can't remember. It's been so long since I got some of these cards that I just don't remember uh, when I got this. Where does Chetty go? Well, she goes down here. So. <laughs> and that is everything that I have for this binder. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm not buying these cards right now. So I'm just like accepting trades when I get them. Everything from here, like onwards is like pretty done though. So it's just this front part. Okay, now we have the big binder for Luna. So this is like my main collection, not these sets. I used to have everything in here, but I had to move them out because there was just not enough room. And we literally have just one card to put in here. So not the most exciting, but still exciting because it is the last Jinsoul that I needed for the A version of Ant. And here she is. She has this like chess piece, I think it is. But yeah, also from Ms. Collects, thank you so much for trading with me. Because yeah, I have not been making a great effort to finish all of the Luna stuff that I am still missing. I'm not missing that much at this point, and I think that's why I've like slowed down. Also, I don't know, the Luna like trade and sale community is just kind of less active right now, as you might imagine. Not a ton of people are starting Luna collections at this point. So... Not a lot of newbies to like trade with, you know what I mean? Uh, but I would like to, in the coming months, like finish up something. Like it would be great if I could get like the the chew. There's this one chew. This is like the only like chew that I'm missing, or like even some more from XX era. That would be great. Uh, that is everything that I have for Luna. So now we're gonna move on to Billy, which I have a decent amount for but I am still waiting on some goes and things to really be caught up. I am thinking ahead for once, and I'm actually going to go ahead and grab like a bunch of pages and just put them aside because I'm definitely gonna need them for Billy, probably for some other things too. So I'm just gonna take some out. And all of my binder supplies, if y'all watch me regularly, you probably have noticed this, but if you're new here, I always link like every supply that I use for my binders. For Billy, I actually have a couple of things from like earlier eras. I actually have a couple of pops for, uh, ooh, I keep hitting the tripod. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> I have a pop for Ring by Ring era. So uh, somebody that I am mutuals with posted a bunch of pops for trade. And I like don't really have a wish list for this kind of thing, like to go back for Billy because there's just so much and especially ring by ring is very expensive. Um, but I had like two of Moonsu's cards that were in this like same exact outfit and they were looking for the one that I had here and they had this one up and I used to have this one but traded it away. So I really wanted to get it back. I just think she looks so cute. This is like my favorite photo card pose probably. So really happy to have this one. And yeah, again, I'm not like looking for these necessarily, like I'm not going back for them, but I just happened to see that up for trade and I went for it. The only like older thing I'm definitely looking for are these like snowy night pops. Uh, they are pretty expensive right now, like probably at least 20 or $30. The other thing that I have that is kind of older is actually from this era. What the hell is this album? <laughs> it's collective soul and unconscious. I have this one pop. So uh, as you could tell, I actually have a ton of stuff from this album. I was going pretty crazy back then. Uh, but this was like the one 
that I really, really wanted that I did not have. So I'm very happy to have this now. I don't even, what shop is this? It doesn't say. Yeah, none of these say like the shop names for the most part. Uh, a few of them do, Mixed are always labels. But uh, yeah, I just like ended up with so many and I'm pretty sure that like this one, and there's like one other one where she has a beret on that are like my favorites. At first glance, it looks like I do not have this one, like for sure. So that's good. Um, but damn, what do I do? <laughs> I think I'm gonna like move this over and just put her in the middle since I like this card so much. And yeah, so that is everything for like older stuff. And I wire these here. It's weird. I really don't know what those are for. I <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I like took out everything that was not Munsua recently and like I put it up for a trade so uh we are finishing village of perception chapter two because I have this last hot on photo card here she is yep there she is <laughs> we are completely done it's kind of hilarious if you like watched like two putting away photo cards videos ago when I was like yeah, I'm not gonna do it. And then you watch this video and you're gonna be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I definitely did not stick to what I said before, but I am totally fine with that because I'm having fun. Uh, we're slowing down, but it's fine. And then we have the last Polaroid that I was collecting for this as well. So this is completely finished. Boop. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I just like separated these by what I thought were the, like the sets and I collected a top three Plus the group Polaroids. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing for this new era, but We're gonna figure it out because I do have some things to put away for that. I'm not sure how many pages I need So this is what I have to put away This is something else <laughs> But I think I'm gonna do like similar to what I did there. So we need to put Unsula only on this page. This is not the card. Oh well, that's it. Um, <laughs> I still have some cards that are like on the way from group orders, so I'm not too like worried about getting these. Hello. Yeah, this was my pull, and then I got this from a group order. Again, I'm still waiting for some goes, so I think I have like a couple more of her cards. I just don't have them on hand yet. But I'm gonna do the same thing, like a three pattern. So this will be the two from the 101 AM, and then these two, and then the other two. But that's all I have on hand. And then we're gonna do all the doppelganger cards on this page I on hand only have these two so these are really cute because they're double-sided yeah <laughs> but yeah Suki goes in the middle and we're gonna do a seven pattern so Suhyun will go there yeah I love the backs of these and I think it's gonna look really nice when they're all together at some point uh, but we're gonna do a spread again, so that means I literally have- I, can you tell that I haven't put any thought into this at all? Like, until now. Um, maybe I put all the, like, school-looking ones on this side. Eh. And then the not-school ones over here. So, Hanamoko here, so... With this album, they actually have like two different outfits per version, I guess. So it'll be a little bit different from this one because this one, it was like one outfit, but I just separated them arbitrarily. But this way we can keep like the outfit versions together. And then for this one, I'll do the same thing. So yeah, these are both from the last one. So. There we go. Cool. 
Then for Polaroids, these are like <laughs> my pulls. For some reason, I pulled all the same outfit version, which is kind of funny. So I'm just going to put these all together right now. We do not have very many Polaroids on hand right now, and I still have not decided like how <laughs> I'm collecting these because it's like one per album, but then people sell them later for like a dollar. So it's like... Should I just get all of them? I don't know. I'm definitely collecting both of the group ones though. This is the polo that I got from Cypher Ray's group order. I will also link Cypher Ray below because she is, I believe, and posts a lot of Billy content. So if you are into Billy, definitely recommend following her. And we have two pages left, so I think. <laughs> I had like a plan for all of these like non-album things. I kind of claimed things a little bit randomly But I think I'm just gonna put them like all on one page for right now. So these are from the weavers set I just like claimed these ones Randomly and then this was the Moonsua that I got from Cypher Ray's Go She's so cute. This is uh, JJ Muse I think that it's hollow, but it's honestly a little bit hard to tell in the sleeve and all, but there is a hollow effect, kind of. And then these are from a pop-up. I think it was a Soundwave pop-up. These are like the trading cards. I think that I'll just do like this one in the middle for now, and then we'll do like, like this. I definitely have like more non-album things on the way. Like I said, I joined some group orders and I have some more moon suas that are on the way. This will definitely be changing in the future, but this is how I'm going to do it for right now. And the last thing that I have for the Billy binder is this moon sua card. So I believe that this is something from their season's greetings. I have also bought the OT7 set from someone that came with the season's greetings. But there was like a second set from like a store and a third set from a store that was like a random pop or something, but this is one of those and then I do want to get Moonsua's other one where she has the like sunglasses on. So I will be doing probably like a row of Moonsua's cards in the middle since there's three and then the other members on top and bottom. So uh, yeah, I don't have any like not album related things for Billy, so I'm just gonna have this at the back and if there's anything else like this, I will just keep all of that stuff separate. So that is everything that I have for Billy today. And now we're gonna move on to Twice and I actually have a decent amount for Twice. Okay, maybe I lied. This isn't really that much, but for me it feels like a lot. So this is the Twice binder. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, we just have a couple from these earlier eras, starting from uh, What is Love? Here we go. I have two cards for this OT9 dresses set. I have this Jonghyun and Dahyun. Very cute. Still don't have Momos or uh, Sanas, but that is fine. Because we will get there eventually. Right. So we have three now for this set. Um, and that's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's it for What is Love. Now for uh, Summer Nights, I have this one Dahyun as well with the water border. Very nice. I believe these two Dahyuns I actually traded with uh, Dahyun's noses on YouTube. So I will also link her below. Excellent person to trade with if you're looking for twice photo cards. Now we have some yes or yes photo cards. I have this Jihyo from this OT9 set. So this set is really coming along. I'm going to take this out. That's fun. <laughs> so that I can put the Jihyo here. Here we go. Very nice. We have a row. That's always nice. If y'all watch Sonaverse, you know about the rows. And we have another Sana card. Actually, yeah, the Sanas today are like spicy. I'll say that. The Sanas today are super spicy. 
This one is not one of the spicy ones, but it's always nice to have at least one. So we're making some progress. That means that we only have five more for Sana. None for Noma, once again. Nothing for Year of Yes or for Fancy. Or for Feel Special, we're gonna skip all of that. But today is a special day, and I'll tell you why. Here it is. The last Sana card! The last Sana card that I needed for Eyes Wide Open. She's finally here. She's finally home. I'm so, so glad I was able to trade for this. I don't know why this is like the one that's like really hard for her. Like this one is pretty hard too, but I just like bought it. So <laughs> I didn't have to experience that, but this one was really difficult and always seemed to be claimed. So I'm very, very happy that I was able to trade for this and we can finally say that Sana is complete for eyes wide open beautiful beautiful page and all the purple backs and momo i'm so sorry um we're also completing this set i was able to trade for this cheon with the drink uh was this also diane's noses i'm not fully sure i think so it's possible <laughs> If I'm miscrediting, I'm very sorry, but yeah, this is one of Chang's most difficult cards. She has a few, as we all know, <laughs> but that one is pretty hard. I had it and then I traded it away without realizing that it was a difficult card because the first time I had no trouble at all. So <laughs> I found out later that I should not have traded it. So, you know, it's whatever. And you know what? We are fully completing both of the OT9 sets because we got both Chaeyoung's now. Thank you to the person that traded me this one. It was a very high priority for me. And now we can say that this is done as well. Thank God. So now for Taste of Love, I'm only missing this one Momo with her little braids and pigtails and I know that it's gonna be a struggle to get so it's fine. <laughs> we'll just, we keep moving. One more very exciting thing. I need a better word than exciting, but that's what this is, right? We finally have a result file version. Somebody traded me this Sana result file version. It was the last thing we needed for this page. I'm having thoughts because I know that this back is different and it's gonna be just like different on the side. So maybe we should switch these right so that we can put this one in the middle so that the back is not like so jarring yeah i think that's fine and we got two glasses and some not glasses <laughs> i guess i will do the same thing here then so that everything is matching and i have to move chewies as well hello and finally, this Momo ID, it's not nearly as exciting as the other cards, but you know what? We needed it, so anything is exciting, because that's a row. Exactly. And I need to do the same thing here. God damn it. And that is everything that I have for the Twice Binder. It was small but mighty, and we're all very happy about it. So now... We're gonna move on to the Le Seraphim slash Promise 9 binder, and that will conclude the girl groups. I feel like right now Le Seraphim is my favorite group to collect, like 17-2, um, obviously, but I have been having so much fun. Like, honestly, it's not stressful, it's just fun. So uh, we have both of Unche's Fearless album cards that somebody traded to me, very thankful for that. So now, um, we're going to be like complete except for Sakura and Kazuha, so I honestly just need to go and buy those. But we already had so much completed. And this is- I've only bought one album, so I'm very thankful that I've been able to find these cards just for sale. Uh, so here is her- what is- I like misspelled this by the way, I wrote like Cypher, and it's supposed to be like Chypre or something, it's like French. Like, 
this is not how this is spelled. I was just like, in my mind, I just kept saying cipher, so I wrote it like that. But yeah, this H is supposed to be like before the Y, Shifra. So anyways, <laughs> that is that. Uh, we're definitely going to be completing almost everything here because of all the stuff that I got from my Miyokyo Go. Should go watch that video <laughs> if you oh it wasn't a go why did i say go it was not a go <laughs> it was my own stuff it was just me spending money so but we love to see it right so we are putting away all of does this one go here yes it does okay uh all of these right so yeah we're only missing two of sakuras so i will be trying to get those at some point uh, but we have all of Chewans and all of Yujins boom so yeah I just need to buy these or something I don't really have anything to trade for them unfortunately so uh, we will see how that goes i need to move these <laughs> definitely replenishing my fillers now too which is great because i don't have very many and i have not like set up at all for the new album because i did not have the fillers for it but maybe we will be able to once i put everything away after this video it'll be a super late setup though <laughs> considering the album is out um, oh yeah, okay, so I also, like, somebody traded me these, these were not on my wish list, but <laughs> they just traded them to me, and I was, like, sure. So these are two of Unche's, like, non-album cards from Anti-Fragile, so this one is a Lucky Draw that I actually have, I think that these are the same, like, these are from the same set, yeah, the backs are the same, so, uh, not sure what to do here. And we also have this one. I think this came as part of like an OT5 set for the Weavers versions from like five or six different stores. So I don't know. I think this is the one that has glitter. What should we do? I think I'm gonna do this. And oh no, I shouldn't do that. Hold on. Hold on. I know that this is not the same, but we're gonna do this. And should I just put these all on the back? I'm honestly just gonna do that. Because I already have this one double-sided. So, there we go. <laughs> it's not the most satisfying, but yeah, I don't really collect like non-album necessarily unless it just comes with my stuff as an OT5 set or I just end up with it. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave that right now if I for some reason end up with some more maybe i'll make a dedicated page for that but so far it's working just like that so we are completing all of these because we finally have all of these freaking cards yeah we're completing it um this is blank i was gonna put like units there if i ever bought the limiteds but i never bought them so maybe someday beautiful ot5 for this and some blank spots but that is fine and now um i need to figure out how many pages i need to add once again so i'm gonna put actually compacts first because my plan is not to collect all of the compacts i'm actually doing like hopefully the cowboy versions for everyone and then all of Chewan and Inche. So it's gonna be similar to like what I did for the Weavers versions, like this, where I have like OT5 and then, you know, yeah, I'll do that for uh, the compact versions. So for right now, I actually only have, I think there's one Unche, so she's just gonna go there. And the Burned Edges one will go there. I guess, and I'll do opposite corners. I already have the vision. So now, um, 
I'm gonna do spreads for the Weavers versions and for the photo book versions. So I don't have any of the Weavers versions, so we're just gonna pretend that it's gonna go somewhere. But I do have this one Joan card. This was my one pull from my Target album. Very thankful. I feel like I'm very Joan blessed. Uh, do y'all remember which version this is? I think it's like version 3 actually. So I'll put her here. So yeah, it'll be the same. Do version 3 here and then I think the like dusty rose is actually version 1? I don't know, they were real confusing. I thought that they were in the order of like the teasers, but they're actually not. So that's confusing. And now I have the target cards. I'm not really sure what I should do with these. So I think I'll put them in the last column, but I did pull Chaewon, so I'm so happy about it. I, I don't know, did she pack that album herself because they were both Chaewons and then this group card. So yeah, we're just gonna do this for now. And I'll probably end up with something that I can put uh, down here. This will be the Weaver's versions. Skipping. And extra non-album thing. I think I have like a K-Town for you set coming or something. Yeah. And then here, uh, my lovely, beautiful, kind, and loving friend, Victoria, gave me the Jeju photo book for my birthday. So I have this set. This set just came with that photo book. Highly recommend getting that photo book. It's so, like, it was really small, like, smaller than what I imagined. And I just think it's really cute. And it comes with a little photo stand, and I have it on my shelf, and it comes with these little photo sets. So we love something that just comes with an OT5 set, especially if you're an OT5 collector. But even if you're not, like, it's just so nice to have. Because I honestly like feel like every with Seraphim collector I've like talked to or like watched on YouTube, they're just so enthusiastic about the girls and like just love all of them so much. Yeah, I think that the, the Fear Not community is very wholesome. I actually have a couple of promise cards. These are the only ones that I have to put away here, but they are both of Jiwon and Jisun's like digipack cards from Midnight Guest. And how did I get these? I think like two people traded with me. Miss Collex traded one and then somebody else traded the other one. I'm so sorry for not remembering. Um, but these were traded to me like very far apart from each other. So I like don't remember exactly who gave me what. But I had this page specifically for the Digipack cards. I hope to do OT9 someday because these are a little easier to buy. But obviously I didn't even buy these two like I traded for them so um yeah they just released the album details for their new one and I'm a little frustrated because uh the album is like three cards per member per version but you only get two per member or you only get two per version so if you collect one member you pretty much automatically have to buy two sets and if you collect two members like me you have to get three so uh I'm not sure how that's gonna go if I'm gonna collect all the cards or just try to get two <laughs> like i don't know so we have a pretty decent stack for this binder um considering there's like nothing in here <laughs> currently uh but if you didn't see me set this up before i did start collecting kind of um nct utah i do not collect him like super thoroughly so uh yeah obviously the farthest back that i'm going is sticker and i'm not collecting like every single thing uh yeah there's some nct dream stuff in here too um but it's kind of just like a vibes kind of collection like i thought that i was going to be invested enough for it to justify having its own binder but most of what we have today are like some two baddies things and ao things and a few like random things that i just liked so nothing for these oh by the way these uh fillers are from a store that I will link below but the store is called Gucci Studios and yeah they just make these really nice fillers that you are um, reusable you can use 
um, what are they called? <laughs> like uh, expo markers, dry erase markers to draw in there. So yeah, now we have some two baddies things. There were so many cards for two baddies that I need to like have a think about like how I'm gonna set this up because I am still missing a few things that I wanted to get. And I think I have something, right? Yeah, okay. So I have his, like, this is like the international photo book exclusive. I might have to even add pages from the back here to put this in properly. So let me just take up all of these fillers out. Like, these do not need to be here. I definitely have enough cards. Like, I really want his Japan photo book exclusive, which is pretty much, like, very similar to this one. So I feel like they should go next to each other. Um, okay, I'll just put two regular photo book things here. So this is the faster version, and this is the two baddies version. So yeah, these are just the photo card, and then everywhere that you bought one would come with a exclusive card. This is the Korean one, so maybe I'll just put this one here. Then... Uh, this one is a, the Japan exclusive for the Digipack, and I really love this card. I think it's super cool, so I will put this here, I guess. <laughs> and I, honest to god, cannot remember. I think this is just the Digipack card, like it's not an exclusive, it's just the photo card. So I will put that here. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. And I don't even know what this is. This this came with a set that I bought off of Neokyo, like Makari Japan, and yeah, it's some kind of non-album card, so I'll just put that here, and that's fine. And I'll just put a filler back in here so that it looks consistent, I guess. I could even put this back in here so that I don't forget what the hell is going on here. And now we have AO, so I do have also a decent amount for AO, what do I have? Just kidding, it's like three cards, so <laughs> that's fine. Uh, but here is the photo book version, B. So I will put that one next to Tails, so now we have both of Utah's photo book versions there. But yeah, as you can see, I just kind of just like, I'm keeping like random stuff, it's not like being very specific. I'm gonna put this pob, whatever this is, I feel like it's from Momo because I've seen it a lot. I'll just put that next to the target card and it's fine. <laughs> and then this is his Digipack card. I do have the S-Mini secured but it's on like Pokemarket and I have not forwarded it because the shipping costs like $40 and <laughs> I just don't want to do that right now so I will put that there I guess. And I'll just put this back here. It's fine. Now, um, this was going to be for all of my, like, random stuff. So I'm just going to put these things in here. So, uh, basically, anything that's, like, cute that I just want, I'm just, like, getting. Uh, this came with a sticker tattoo set thing. <laughs> As part of this merch, it was person-specific. So if you bought the Utah version, you would get the Utah card. This is like my favorite Utah photo card of all time, so I obviously had to go and get it. Uh, there's definitely some other ones that I would like to get, but I feel like he goes so hard for these member-specific things. And because there just aren't that many Utah collectors, it's not like people end up with a bunch of extras of these Utah-specific things. So they end up being extremely expensive and I just don't want to deal with all that. Uh, the next thing that I have is this card from the Sanrio merchandise. I keep seeing Sanrio stuff again, so I don't know if they did it a second time or if people are just hosting more goes relating to this. But I think this is from the sticker set. This was also, I think, member specific, but I really liked this card. <laughs> there was like a few different um, things per member. like. I didn't really like his trading cards that much because he kind of was just like dead facing it, so it was not my favorite, but I really really love this card. <laughs> and this is a trading card, I believe. It's some kind of like card pack thing. Fortune card, apparently. 
um, but he looks so cute. He is so good at making like funny faces, I think, in his photo cards when he wants to. So even though it's just a trading card, I really wanted that card. And the last thing that I'm going to put in here is this card, which came with a set. I honestly, I thought it was an AO card because it came with an AO set. And he's definitely like, I don't know, has the AO hair still? I don't know. But this is from NCT Home, which I think is some kind of merch drop. It does say 2023 on it, so it's about AO era probably. So we will just put that in there and whatever. <laughs> and I do have some more like random stuff on the way, so that's why there's like even more pages. But again, I got a lot of stuff from Poke Market. I highly recommend using Poke Market if you are an NCT collector, because they are very cheap on there. But I will say the fees and the shipping, it makes me question if it's worth it. I don't know. So I will give my full review once I actually get it. I will probably make a video about it and unbox and stuff. But a preliminary review is I'm not sure. <laughs> so I feel like it's getting so hot in here. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, so... Uh, you might remember, maybe not, <laughs> in my last video I did talk about like possibly um, splitting up these binders a little bit differently. So before I kind of just had them chronologically, so one was completely full and I never touched it, <laughs> and then the other one was the newer stuff, so I was still adding stuff. But I did actually separate it into like album related things and then like merchandise things. But I do have a couple of in the soup things to put away so we're gonna start with this one there were two um in the soup photo book making things i did not join to go for the first one because i told myself i didn't like want it or need it <laughs> but now i'm kind of like sad that i didn't because the cards are like kind of expensive now especially since they've come out with another one i did not get them but I have plans to definitely to get DKs and probably Ming House as well. So what I have are these, they're both horizontal, which is frustrating, but these are the only ones that I claimed from this like merch set thing from, are these? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought they were upside down from how the cards were, but I just had my hands weird. So yeah, that is what the backs look like. Very cute. Um, but yeah, I just, I didn't love Jung Han's card and Sung Wan's. He looked really sad in the card, so I didn't want them. So I only got theirs, and I think what I'm gonna do is, like, put these here for now, and then hopefully I will get the making photo book cards from season one for both of these guys. Oh my god. Honestly, lately... Minghao has been more of a bias record for me than Jonghan, so I have been honestly claiming DK and Minghao for a lot of the non-album things from um, FML, so I'm a little bit ashamed to say I will be putting away quite a lot of that um, once I get them, I guess. <laughs> oh, what is happening? Okay, yeah. So these are from... <laughs> Let me actually talk during this video. So these are from the Making Photo Book version 2. So that is what the backs look like. And this time you did not have to punch them out of the paper. I think that really frustrated a lot of people and that was part of why I didn't get it. I was like worried about it being damaged, but now I'm like, mm -hmm. but I want them. So there is Chung Hao's and Ming Hao's. Looks pretty similar to how they looked for like these other ones that I just put away. They're like the same outfits. It's kind of funny. And then Boo's. Boo has like the best one, I think. And June's, honestly. June has like a cup of hot cocoa. It's very, very cute. So there we go. So now we have all of those. And <laughs> the next in the soup. I don't know when that'll be, if there will be one, but uh, it will just go after all of that. So that's it for this one. And now I have a little bit for this binder too. Um, like I said, I don't really have the same uh, financial situation that I did for 
uh, previous comebacks where I was like able to get like all of the target cards and all of these pre-order benefits and like like multiple times for like every version of like everything so this time I'm only doing it for the target cards because I was going to get target albums anyways and I had enough to trade for my bias line so that's fine and randomly I do also have this Minghao card so this was the UMS benefit I am hoping to get my full bias line so I am still looking for uh, some ones but these were the dream pre-order benefit from Universal Music Japan and yeah we're just missing this little teddy bear boo he's doing the little this thing on his head it's very cute and yeah we just have the sector 17 stickers on the back because these cards are like a little bit see-through and now I think I'm going to put a page here since that will be where the next album related thing should go and we just have all of the target cards I did pull DK's but I traded for the other three he's so beautiful he always comes home <laughs> in target card form but there we go and the backs are just this like blue color I'm not sure if you can see it very well it's a little bit dark outside right now I think it's gonna rain but yeah that is all the target cards Oop. so next this is my binder for the Japanese photo cards I only and like trying to collect DKs and Junghans, but uh, for these earlier ones, only DKs. <laughs> and from here forwards, both of them, but I mostly have Junghan and not DK. I just have one stinky little card. It's this stinky version B limited Junghan from Dream. I'm still missing like a couple of Junghans. I'm missing his version C and I am missing his standard version, if you could believe it. At this point, I will probably just buy it from somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, that's all we had <laughs> to put here. We are plowing through all of the 17 cards. We are now in the DK binder, and we have a ton of stuff to put in here. Or, I think so. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. But uh, the first thing I have is actually kind of an older era thing somewhat i think it will go here i'll just double check yes so somebody traded me this hmv card for dk this is from you make my day so it's gonna go on this page and yeah he's just so beautiful so <laughs> i finally have a card that i can put on this page we love that now we need to flip to attacka yay <laughs> there it is so I finally have DK's target card from Ataka. So this was pretty easy to find once I actually put it on a wish list. So thank you to the person who traded with me. I have been saving this special spot right here because it's so similar to these that where else, I don't think it should go anywhere else. So there we go. <laughs> it's like, he took these like 30 seconds apart from each other. Um, now I have some actually Busak Sun stuff which should go there <gasps> there jesus so i finally have the weaver's pops for boo and soon since i already had sulk here we go they are so cute i love all of the cards for this era they look so good together too like all of these pages are just so colorful and pretty love that we are still waiting on a couple of <laughs> the YZY goes so nothing there but I do have the very last lucky draw that I was missing so this is I believe M2U since that was the one that I had only claimed one uh, one of my friends on Instagram was selling uh, I guess they're extras or something but I was able to secure him through them so thank you very much for that now that's everything for blue so soon and now i did kind of kind of i say kind of set up for this album this was before actually the deluxe version was announced so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with the deluxe cards 
and I do not have all of DK's cards on hand yet. I have like five. <laughs> I have five of his cards, so I am still missing the other chesty card. I just don't have anything left to trade right now, and I'm waiting on group orders, so I'm like telling myself like do not buy more albums. Don't do it, even though I want to so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna switch these. So the Kino is in this concept, so I think this should go there, probably. And I'm gonna do this. Yes. So I do have both of the office version, which we love this so much. I think he looks so cute in this version. So, uh, yeah, I. Like my favorite card this era. He's so cute. I think it should go middle then. <laughs> I'm like talking myself through it while I'm putting them away. And then we also have both of the boxing version. So cute. Like I, I said this before about Billy. I just love this pose and he does it so much. So very thankful. We put that one in the middle. I do have his Kino secured. I was like in a group order and the, they only pulled like two of DK's unfortunately. K-Town distribution really sucks lately, so I don't know. K-Town do better, basically, is all I have to say. But uh, I there was a lot of people in this group order. I was not high enough to get the second DK because the group order manager is also DK biased, so I'm assuming that at least one of those went to them. I'm still waiting on group orders for the carrot version and the weavers version. As far as the deluxe card, I honestly might put it with all of the non-album stuff. I only put one page here, but it's gonna be so many pages, y'all. It's gonna be so many pages. I have some DVD things to put away. Uh, first thing is actually the Japan Hanabi I'm gonna put here. So I posted a group order for these and I claimed DK's and Chunhan's only. They were kind of expensive to get like multiple members so I was like I'm just gonna stick to these for now. I'm kind of just putting them like chronologically a bit so this is not gonna be super satisfying but there will be more to come for sure and I try when I can to like get my entire bias line for things, but these ones are, I did not. <laughs> so um, next, so this is also just an entire page for Power of Love DVD and Power of Love in general, but I am actually going to do a entire page for the Carrot Land DVD thing. I'm still waiting on uh, Sungwans actually, but there was a pre-order benefit that was like these things? I don't know. <laughs> like if you bought the set of DVD plus Digicode, then you would get these. So I do have Sungwans as well from the other go that I'm in. It's on the way. It's like in the mail right now as we speak. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna put these in like the middle like this and then we'll do the photo cards on top and bottom. But I don't remember which is from the Digicode and which is from the DVD, but this is one set and then, oh my god, sorry there's like a garbage truck outside, then we have these, they have little messages on the back, we love it, anyways, wow there is so much noise outside. <laughs> Okay, so that is all of the DVD stuff. Sorry, carrot land things. Okay. <laughs> Do I put more on the bag? I've already have two cards on the bag. Uh somebody gave me this trading card as like a freebie in our trade, and I like screamed because this is like basically my bias line, but plus Woozy and minus Sunkwan. And yeah, it's just a unit from the Incomplete Trading Cards, and I do not have the Incomplete Trading Cards set yet. So I think for right now, I'm just going to put this in here. I am planning on getting DK's full set, but I want to buy it as a full set. So that's why I don't have it, I guess. 
nothing for any Japanese cards, but I do have a ton of Carrotland stuff, which will go right here. Whoa, I'm eventually gonna need some more pages, I think. So these are all Carrotland related cards. I, how many is this though? Ah, oh, it's 10. Okay, well this can go somewhere else. Uh, if you collect 17, you already know what this is. This is his Carrot Zone card. So this was a card benefit from going to Carrot Land in person. And you could only get one per person, I guess. But if you got lucky, you could pull like entire units of 17. Um, yeah, pretty cool. People uh, resell these for quite a lot of money because of what they are. So I have all of DK's like trading cards from the carrot land and i believe that this is the correct back so there was an issue with these cards where like the message on the back was wrong it was from like the previous carrot land or something but i mean i wouldn't know i can't read so it's fine and then i did trade for the group card and also the vocal unit card i pulled of course neither of those so we have all of those and then these are all of the like regular trading cards for him and then i joined a group order for this like lenticular thing um i have no idea how to say your username sarah but i joined this group order with beckheen i think that's how you say the username but i will link her below because she also has a youtube channel and unboxes a ton of stuff <laughs> especially related to 17 and also for like exo backyard and more i have no real plan for this layout i just know that this should go in the middle i'll just put this one at the end since it's not one of the trading cards um oh my god yeah and they numbered these like so annoying let me see <laughs> uh, 46 47 did i already choose the correct ones 48 49.50. Wow, my mind. And it's gonna be all blue backs on the- oh, okay. I really like this concept for Carrot Land. Like last year's- I mean last year's is right here. It's- <laughs> it was very like sexy time, I guess, you know? Everybody's doing like a smolder, especially this one. But these are like so cute. I don't know why we're like in the workshop. What are we building? Yes! So beautiful okay i think actually i love symmetry so <gasps> beautiful so there is the carrot land page so now this guy <laughs> so i should probably just put it here next to the other um carrot zone card right and i'm gonna put this pink one in the middle since i like it more <laughs> than the green wall there we go. Beautiful. And you know what? We're gonna have more carrot zones to deal with in July, whenever they have their uh, concert in Seoul. So that'll be maybe a row. Hopefully I can get it. We will see. So far I've been okay trying to get them. So now we are going to move on to the Jeonghan, Minghao, and Sungkwon binder. I have a decent amount to put in there because I do have some more than DK stuff from FML to put away. As far as like earlier cards for this binder, I only have a single old card for Minghao to put away. There it is. I have the other one secured, but it is not here yet. So this is from the poet version. These two are very difficult <laughs> for Minghao. This one is more difficult, but this one was also pretty difficult um i think that his like outdoor ones from an ode are just very difficult like these ones and these ones are both very hard for me how in particular um his beret pcs are honestly kind of okay but i also like pulled them like myself like three times so <laughs> they don't feel that difficult to me we're here we're at the back we are at the end of the line oh Okay, so in the last album, we ended like this, and I think we're gonna have to do that again, unfortunately, but that's just how it goes. So, 
I think I'm gonna put these a little bit out of order, just like I did for DK, and I'm gonna start with the office version. So yeah, these are both the same back, so I can put them together, I guess. Uh, I might actually switch these, because <laughs> I know that the Minghao that I'm missing is like the calculator one. And I definitely would like to have that in the middle, so this will be all the office ones. I still have a couple, actually, of cards that I've traded for that are not here yet. They are both coming from, like, the UK. So on this page, I'm going to put the first version because I can do, like, this and then the Kinos, which I did have pretty decent luck here. So I pulled... I bought two. <laughs> I bought two from that group order that didn't have incredible pulls and... I ended up just buying DK's and Minghao's separately. <laughs> so there, there goes my money. But anyways, um, we have like a K-pop store pretty close to here. So I just bought the other two Kinos that I needed from there. And I pulled a uh, Junghan's here. And then I pulled a Wuzi that I was able to trade for Sunglan. So I was like, okay, well now I just need DK and Minghao. And yeah, it did not really work out. <laughs> but... It's fine. We've got it all secured. And yeah, we will do the Kinos in the middle since they're the same concept and the album cards on top and bottom. That is all that I have on hand for these though. And now for the boxers version. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the deluxe version cards in the middle here. I did not buy my own copy, I actually just joined a group order for those. I did not have it in my budget to like drop $50 on another album version. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I just bought like the member cards and then I think I also got all of the vocal unit ones. Oh my god. I keep forgetting that these actually have like different backs. And here I will put the Weaver's version. I bought a single Weaver's version from my local K-pop store. I pulled a Vernon and I traded for Junhans, but I am still waiting for my group order that I joined to get the other cards. That sorting form is tonight, so hopefully I do not. <laughs> hopefully I don't do like badly on that and I'm very fast, but it's another one of those like only username and email, so it is very competitive, and I'm sure that first second is like, like everybody submitting at the same time. So yeah, all we have is Junghans now, but this will be the Weaver's version page, and then I added two pages because now we need to put the carrot versions, and there's four cards, so there's going to be a singular row by themselves, but I actually have all of the carrot version cards for all three of these members. I joined Melanie's group order, J to the Inin, on YouTube. If y'all don't know, she will be linked below, of course. And yeah, I joined for Junghan, Minghao, and Sungwan. And she had very good luck with all of the photo card pulls, so I only needed to trade for like one additional card for each member. And that was very easy to do. So <laughs> we are completely done with all of these. This is so funny. <laughs> I'm definitely doing that. That's so funny. Why? It would have been really nice if at least one of them like made a heart because then the other person would be like, me too, but like not part of it. But they're just all <laughs> doing the same half of the heart. Mingha does not have a little cheek one to go with that. I definitely want flowers to be in the middle. I forgive them for making me spend this much money. And yeah, that is all that I have for FML so far. It's fine, we're, we're making progress. Pretty close to wrapping up this video. Now we just have the OT13 binder. If you haven't seen this before, this is just for like OT13 sets and uh, things like that, I guess. Anyone that is not any of the previous four members that I collect. So the first card that I have is actually for this set from Hengare. Somebody traded me this Wanu card, so so thankful to have a Wanu card in here. Now, how does the member order go? I think he goes here, actually. He goes right in the dead center. 
then uh, I did decide to do another set actually so hmm. uh, I don't feel like like moving the page so I'm just gonna leave this here but I did decide to do a full version so before I was just doing Hana and set version but I <laughs> decided to do three of them. I think the net version, I just don't really love it that much. I don't want to go through the pain of getting the grid cards when I don't really love them as much as I think a lot of people do. But I really like so many cards from this album. Like all of the photo cards are so good. So I just have this one Wuzi, so he's gonna go there. And nothing for Ataka or your choice, but I am completing this set, which is so crazy because i didn't think i would but i got some very incredible trades i got this tino and this didn't take like extra effort on my part like somebody just offered me this dino and this is his best card from this version so thank you so much to the person who traded with me so thankful to have this dino and i also have this vernon it's not the magnifying glass one i know but it is a vernon which means that he can take the Vernon spot in this set. Beautiful. And lastly, incredibly, <laughs> like what? I didn't, oh my gosh. So thank you so much to the person who traded me this. Uh, they also were the one who traded me the one card from the Hanau version. Those are two, these are two like very beautiful and amazing cards. So. I literally was not looking specifically for this Mingyu, I just wanted any of his, but this is my favorite one from the set, so I am so, so happy about having him. I... There we go. <laughs> and now, um, I have one card to put here. I have this S. Coops doing his little teddy bear ear from the Ray version of Face the Sun. So now we are only missing a Joshua, which would go here if I had one, but I don't. So it's blank for now. Then skipping all of this Face the Sun stuff and Sector 17 stuff. I am planning on doing a couple of OC13 sets for FML. Right now, I'm only doing like the Fall and Misfit Lost version. I'm doing like one card from that one. And the carrot version, also doing just one card from that one. So that is all that we're putting away. I just have this one Mingyu card. I haven't, I didn't have like a lot of luck pulling um, other ones that I wanted from this set. I want all the ones with the gray back. <laughs> so this was the only one that I pulled from that. So yeah, <laughs> that's our, that's the OT13 set. We will have the other ones soon enough. And then we have the carrot version. I have a pretty decent start on these. I have my pulls from one that I bought on my own. So I have a Woozy, this Wanu, S Coops, and then this was one of the extras that I got from Melanie's Go. I really loved this June card, so this is the one that I'll be keeping. And I definitely joined enough group orders to finish this off, I'm pretty sure. Because you get so many per album. I definitely have enough. Because, what, at this point we're missing only five, so it should be fine. Then we get into some of the extra non-album stuff that I have. I thought ahead and I did already add a page for this because uh the yzy stuff for face the sun just keeps on going it just it just keeps going so we have these two sunglon cards i am god i don't remember which is from what though oh this one must be from this so this is his round d card pretty sure <laughs> and this is e or round five depending how you think about it. So I'll put him here and I am pretty sure I have Jumhans from this round on the way as well so I'll leave a space 
since I put them in age order. And yeah, that'll be, <laughs> this is like all of Sungwan's that I have, I think. What else did I get? I feel like there's another one that I got Sungwan for. I want to say it's one of the Sector 17 ones though. I don't remember anymore. There's like way too many of these cards for me to keep them straight at this point. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go here. So I do have e plans to get my buys line for the current land trading cards. You know how it is. So I'm still waiting on some group orders, but I do have like a couple of pools slash trades. I still have like cards up for trade. I'm mostly looking for Sungwans right now because his cards are my favorites from this. Oh my god, and I don't know how the order is. Is this the right order? Oh, it's not. It's absolutely not. It's absolutely not the right order. This one is like that. So I think maybe this Jonghan is also the first one. If we're going by the distance. Because I think that this card is like the far away one. And then they have the white background ones and the selfies. And yeah, that'll be it. So kind of a lame spot to end this video, like putting away like three trading cards, but it's fine. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. <laughs> if you watched all the way to this point, thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you again very soon.